Yo, if you guys are looking for any coins at all on Mad Mobile 18, go check out PestBubbleCoins.com. You'll get your coins in just like five minutes, and the rates are super cheap. Use my code Saber for 10% off your entire order. Yo, what is going on, guys? Sabretooth back on Mad Mobile, and today I have a massive NFL 24-7 pack opening, just like I promised you guys I would. My man Stixon14 over on Instagram hooked me up. He's got a really amazing count. You guys gonna see 13 million coins, and he's got a ton of packs on his bench just waiting for me to open. And today I'm gonna be ripping through, I think, all 32. I'm not sure if he has all the teams there. I think maybe he only has 31 of them. I can't exactly remember. You guys can see his team is a pretty decent team, but really we're here looking for these NFL 24-7 packs and what we can pull out of them. So I know I talked, I think, two videos ago about NFL 24-7, why you guys should be doing it, and some strategies. And you guys can see if we go over to the NFL 24-7 achievements today, we are going to be going for that 90 overall Johnny Hecker. So in total, pretty much it's going to cost you guys eight times all the 24 set seven sets so if you complete each of those eight times that's going to be eight times 250 collectibles which is going to get you 2000 collectibles which is what you need to do the completion two times for all 32 teams that's going to cost you roughly buying the bronze and silver players without doing any of the events around 700,000 coins so hopefully we can kind of make some of that back right here in this episode let's start it off with the 49ers can we start with a bang so you guys can see he already did one of them because this is our second out of 32 so i think we only have 31 teams but i mean still that's pretty amazing he saved up all of these broncos let's see what we can pull from this one and riley dixon and right off the bat we have an elite i saw that elite shake so i'm gonna leave that till the end but riley dixon he is auctionable this guy had some crazy stats last year i know paxton lynch non auctionable and let's see who our lead is and it is cj anderson unfortunately he's unauctionable but still i will definitely take that 83 overall in our second pack not a horrible way to start off the pack opening so as i was saying i'm not sure if it's plausible to make money off of these packs i'm kind of testing that here today matt slauson 79 center and a 76 o guard so not too bad there but, and here's a player pack, so I guess he actually completed another one just from the collectibles that you get in this pack. I think you get 200 for the team that you complete, yeah. So right there, we might get a couple extra player packs, which would be crazy if we pulled an elite in those, because usually I just get silvers, maybe a gold if I'm lucky. If you guys have played any of the NFL 24-7 events, though, you will actually get a lot of these collectibles for free so it's not going to cost you the full 700k or whatever to do all the nfl 24 7 hidden sets to get the johnny hecker honestly 90 overall punter is probably worth 700k on his own and the fact that you're going to be pulling some elites from these packs it's really going to make up for it definitely nfl 24 7 is a great thing to complete at least just get the johnny hecker if not anything else if you guys don't want to go any further than that but that 90 overall puntle really helps out he's unauctionable but you can train him up and get your overall up so currently i have not pulled an elite in quite a while hopefully we can get one it doesn't look like anything there and we do get three goals from that pack not too bad but nothing elite currently nfl 24 7 achievement pack i don't even know what number this is maybe seven we do get a kevin huber when he's unfortunately unauctionable and we get another Huber and a Randy Bullock who is, in fact, auctionable. So an auctionable kicker, really not too bad there. Should probably go for at least 20, 25K maybe. Here we go with the Giants NFL 24-7, nothing there. And let's keep pounding Eagles 24-7 pack. Let's open it up. And our bench is full. All right, guys, sorry about that. I had to clear up some space. As soon as I saw that 1203 items out of 1200 before I even hit that pack, I felt kind of defeated because I knew I messed up and we had to clear up some space, but we're back. We're going to keep cracking through these packs and let's see if we can pull any more elites. We started hot with that first elite in our second pack, but since then, nothing too crazy. That was not a bad pack there. 377 plus gold players. Jaguars, can we get an elite here? Please, Blake Bortles. 78 QB and a Mercedes Lewis 75 tight end 
Also a good pull from there is the NFL 24-7 Leonard. And we get Morris Claiborne, 84 overall cornerback. Let's go auctionable this time. 84 speed. Not too bad stats on him. He should definitely go for some coins, especially since he's auctionable. So that's always good to see. It's crazy to me how they can just decide whether... And we get a Ryan Tannehill back-to-back -back elites, and he's auctionable. I just mentioned this guy in one of my videos on the best elite players in the game, and Ryan Tannehill certainly is one of those players. Can't believe we just pulled him, and he was auctionable. So the thing I was trying to say was I can't believe how it, the game kind of decides for you what players are auctionable and unauctionable, and it seems completely random. So it's really, really unlucky when you get a good elite pull, and it turns out he's un auctionable you could always feed him to other players which will save you money as well but i would rather just auction him, him off get the coins and use those coins to snipe and invest or whatever so we do get a christian mccaffrey here unfortunate actually he, no he is auctionable i was about to say unfortunately i don't think he's auctionable but he is that's not a bad pull he goes for like 30k because people really like, do like christian mccaffrey cards and his card's pretty solid for a, what is he, 77, 78 halfback? Pretty good stats on him, and he's a fan favorite player. Steelers, can we get an elite from this? Please, EA, let me get something. Niall Davis, Jordan Dangerfield, two very solid players, actually. Niall Davis, if you're trying to pick up a cheap budget beast running back, that's who I use, actually, as my budget beast running back. Patriots, can we get anything here? Hold on, update team, and we get an Allen Branch, auctionable, 83 overall D tackle, there we go, so that's our fourth elite in this pack opening, not doing too bad actually, we're making back some good money on these, on these NFL 24-7 achievement packs, these are really fun packs to open, I think they're the best packs in the entire game, there's four golds right there, that's pretty impressive, and we get an NFL 24-7 player pack, and all three silver i've seen some people pull elites from those i don't know how the odds are absolutely awful derek shelby hold on we have another elite poll let's open up all the rest of them and see maybe this is a devonta freeman that would be a crazy pull let's reveal this card dontari poe 86 overall d oh no he's unauctionable 44,000 training points 86 d tackle dontari poe unfortunately he's an auctionable but that is such a good pull actually that's that's a really really good pull too bad he's an auctionable we do get a cody parky 74 kicker and he is auctionable so that's not too bad actually we have six packs left vikings can we clutch out another elite pull we are pulling elites pretty well in this that's five on the day including an 86 overall so that's definitely very very solid saints maybe the adrian peterson 24 7 he goes for a lot i'm looking for a shake and not gonna get one but we do get four golds in that so the saints coming through clutch just like they always do came in clutch last week against the panthers hopefully this weekend they can win again andre hall that's a 78 safety he goes for some good coins actually unfortunately he's unauctionable but he's a really good card good speed on a safety card and people pay a lot for him I sold one for 50k a couple weeks ago, actually. Nothing crazy in that Bills pack. Please, just one more elite if we could pull one. That would be amazing. We're getting silvers, though, and that's not a good pack. Two more, the Bears and the Seahawks. Can we end it off with an elite, please? Maybe a Kyle Fuller right here. We get a Bellamy, and we get nothing else. So just one more pack, and we can claim this 90 overall Johnny Hecker for the squad ended off with an elite ended off with a bang right here please cash this marsh let's just take a look at this there's our 32 out of 32 and we will get johnny hecker i guess it'll just reward him after i complete this pack four golds but no elites and here he is punter johnny hecker 90 overall about to claim him let's take a look at his stats this has been a really fun pack opening for me guys i pulled Five elites and 186 overall Dontari Poe. Really, really good pull. Let's reveal this Johnny Hecker and we can add him to the squad. So, I love that elite animation. It's so nice. 90 overall Johnny Hecker. There he is. Update team, 64 speed, 80,000 training points. So, if you guys don't even want to use the Johnny Hecker as an actual punter, you can train him and he's going to give your player quite a significant bit of level. So, let's stick him in here. 
for the Drew Kayser. That's going to boot up the special teams all the way to an 84 overall. That is going to wrap up the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Go up there, pull some elites as well. Stay hungry, stay humble. And remember, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.